The texture of the catalyst plays a very important role in its activity and selectivity. The optimum texture, of course, depends on the kind of reaction that is to be performed. For example, mesoporous catalysts with pores approximately 10 to 15 nanometers in width are used in different hydrotreating processes. They may include a micropores component with pores no larger than 1 nanometer in diameter. In contrast, for processes where deposition of impurities from natural crude oil is required, catalysts with larger pores are employed. This is called a hydrodemetallization process in which larger pores perform better. As has been presented so far, the size of the pore in any kind of catalyst will highly influence its activity and selectivity in a particular process. Classic catalytic processes used in the oil industry include cracking of oil to gasoline and diesel, desulfurization, hydrotreating, and alkylation. The petrochemical industry utilizes a large number of processes which can be classified mainly into four categories. Inorganic chemistry, organic chemistry, petrochemistry, and fine chemistry such as pharmaceutical, synthetic inks and dyes, and explosives. Each one of these processes is highly affected by the texture of the catalyst used. Examples include disintegration, reforming, hydrotreating, hydrogenation, dehydrogenation, oxidation, alkylation, and isomerization. One specific example is the functionalization of olefins, such as propylene, to produce propylamine and subsequently polymerize to plastics and resins. Ceramics are widely used directly as catalysts or as catalyst supports. These materials exhibit unusually high stability in harsh thermal environments, and this stability makes them attractive for these applications. Again, Texture highly influences the activity and selectivity of the materials. Ceramic catalysts can be divided into three different categories. Catalysts using zeolite, catalytic converters, and solid oxide fuel cells. One well-known application of ceramic catalysts is in automotive catalytic converters. These catalysts reduce the toxicity of emissions from an internal combustion engine by converting the emission to a less harmful form. Beside their catalytic value, ceramics display multiple properties that facilitate their use in a wide range of applications. Traditional ceramic products also include bricks, sewer pipes, tiles, sanitary fixtures, and porcelain. The final product highly depends on the texture of the original materials. As can clearly be seen, material characterization using the physical adsorption technique can contribute to the understanding of the texture of any type of solid as long as the solid is capable of physically absorbing an inert gas such as nitrogen or argon. The adsorption isotherm generated by this technique enables one to determine the surface area, porosity, and total pore volume of solids, all of which are important properties that predict activity as well as selectivity of any catalyst without an actual chemical reaction needing to be performed. Gas adsorption is commonly used for the characterization of materials in many applications. This characterization yields important surface area and porosity information in a very short time, a benefit critical to many industrial processes. Almost 50 years ago, Micromoretics Instrument Corporation manufactured its first surface area analyzer. Today, employing four different physical adsorption analytical techniques, Micromoretics offers seven product families containing 16 different physisorption products. Thank you very much for taking the time today to view this presentation. Please feel free to contact us via our website at www.micromoretics.com where you can also register for notification of future installments in our webinar series. Again, thank you.